Victoria. Madam Speaker, a new report shows that carbon capture is a fairy tale told by profitable oil and gas companies to justify more production and get more subsidies. As these companies rake in record profits, this Liberal government plans on giving them $50 billion as a tax credit. $50 billion. That's $50 billion that could be put towards renewable energy or a just transition for workers, towards real climate solutions, not big oil and gas. When will this government stop throwing money at the very companies who are fueling the climate crisis? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Environment and Climate Change. I want to thank the Honourable Member for the question, uh, Madam Speaker. And in our climate plan, our government committed to develop a comprehensive carbon capture use and storage strategy, CCUS, and to ensure Canada is globally competitive in this growing industry. Developing carbon capture features in the mix of every credible path to net zero, Madam Speaker. Smart policies that incent the use of these technologies will help reduce our emissions and grow our economy. The Honourable Member for Lambton, Kent Mendelsex. Speaker, my constituents and many Canadians are expecting big words, huge costs, and little improvements to their lives in the upcoming budget. Canadians don't want an NDP wish list budget, they want a responsible budget. Here, here. Young Canadians struggling to get ahead shouldn't be burdened with more debt because the government of today refuses to spend wisely. Speaker, how much will this ultra-left budget cost the next generation of taxpayers? Speaker, this government invested in the lives and the livelihoods of Canadians at the darkest time in the last 70 years. We invested $511 billion to make sure that we could get to where we are now with the second fastest growing economy in the G7, poised to be the fastest growing economy in the G7 next year. We are on a track to fiscal prudence.